Hi guys, it's Kobe here and welcome to Pixel Affair and in today's video, I'm excited to be talking about Cinema 4D R25 which is going to be announced, I believe, on um, September 14th, which is Tuesday by David McGovern, which is Amazon's CEO at their event um, presentation. So if you go to 3D Motion Show, you can see the lineup there and you can see right on top, you can see Amazon News and Announcement by David um, McGovern. So basically, R25 is going to be announced and I'm excited, I'm coming to talk about it today. Around April this year, S24 was announced and that was a subscription based for those who have subscribed to Amazon and pay monthly subscription. But if you follow Amazon over the years, I think every September, they actually announce um, a new version of Cinema 4D with new updates and stuff. But as fans of Cinema 4D, we always want to know what's going to be in there, whether it meets our expectations and stuff and all those things. But Magzone is very secretive and very silent when it comes to those stuff, you know, when it comes to updates of their, their releases and um, new uh, softwares. It, so it comes, you barely have any information of as to what's going to be in there or not in there. So in recent couple of years, Magzone has actually been updating features and it's been a little bit animation heavy, like as in most of their features has been very friendly or very, I'm sure the animators have really enjoyed it. And you can see a, a bit of updates in the UV as well, UV set, like setup and stuff as well. But in R23, they actually introduced a whole new um, node, node, nodal system, which is the scene nodes. And gave it a little bit of updates, sort of, in R24, uh, S24, which was the scene manager to actually help you manage the scene, just like the object manager, but this scene manager is for the nodal system. Right, so definitely in R25, there's going to be a still a lot of node stuff, because um, in the, even the scene nodes in R23 was made clear that it's not um, production, full production ready yet, it's still in the production line and things can change over, over the years. So I'm expecting a lot of um, updates or new stuff with the node system or C nodes as they call it and also I still believe that there's still going to be a bit more updates with, um, which is animation related and um, UV as well and modeling through I can say and mostly like scene management and stuff which Magzon if you can actually if you've been following Magzon you can see they've been heavy on this few things I mentioned like animation modeling scene management and like workflows and all those basic stuff they've been a little bit heavy on recently so I believe they are still going to continue on that line and a bit of the node node system but here you hear what people are actually expecting and I'll try to mention a few of them because if you actually go through almost the demands from various people will actually go down to mean that my 40 has to basically change almost everything some even probably wanted to turn into another software which I don't think will happen but there are some which I think is I mean basic and fundamental which are kind of like interesting and uh, will be fun if Cinema 4D can actually make updates or you know do something about it. So number one or not necessarily in any other but as in the first thing that um, I saw I, I, I'm going to talk about is the ren rendering right. So Cinema 4D has the standard renderer and the physical renderer and along the way they try to bring in another render but I think they later stop doing um, going on that direction and later bought redshift and everything. I mean people wish they can get a redshift in the cinema 4D directly but I doubt that's going to happen. But what people are asking for is a bit of updates or you no know, a modern style, modern system of rendering in the cinema 4D directly, even if not redshift, something which is a bit you know modern and a bit updated because this uh, standard and the physical render I mean which are very solid does well but I think can do better and can even be faster and like probably with GPU um, acceleration and all that so that's what one thing that came up rendering if not getting redshift then maybe improve on what um, they have already but the question that also came up was if they make the standard and the physical render so robust and very fast and powerful what would be the incentive for you to buy um, redshift well let's see what happens 
The next thing is the update in the particle system of Cinema 4D. And I think this actually updates or request will be one of the oldest requests for Cinema 4D users or fans of Cinema 4D. Because, you know, the Cinema 4D um, particle system is quite old and does the basic stuff, can't do much at all. Um, and there are a lot, whole lot of people who don't necessarily do a lot of particle crazy particle stuff all the time. Maybe once in a while they want to do something particle related, but not necessarily just basic. Maybe something which is fairly you know complicated and stuff. But the Cinema 4D particle system, I mean, it doesn't work. That means you have to actually jump into Espresso with Thinking Particle, which all of it in itself, the Espresso has its issue like interface update and stuff. It's, uh, thinking particle is quite old and you know can be very slow and stuff like that so that's one demand that people keep asking and it's been there for a very long time almost all the time it's something when you check out what people want to be updated in Cinema 4D it comes up a lot also there were a lot of I mean demands or love for C nodes which people are really interested in as Maxon trying to do a whole node system with C nodes and people were really interested and wants Cinema 4D to up their game on that angle, add more updates and make it more functional and interesting. So people were very interested in C nodes and wants Maxon to continue on that level and add a bit more features and make it a bit more robust. Right? Again, one thing also which also keeps coming up is improvements in modeling system in Cinema 4D. Cinema 4D over the years have actually tried to actually improve their uh, modeling system but still you know people keep demanding and asking for more you know like uh, things like a solid boolean tool which can help in you know um, hard surface modeling and stuff also a bit more of uv stuff as well the you know, people keep demanding so all those things also came up as well also the material system came up Cinema 4D licensing with regards to indie license also came up as well and more love for stuff like uh, field and volume and people would love to see a bit more updates with regards to volumes and even fields which I think is a very solid update when it comes to um, more graph system in Cinema 4D. Performance too was in there and performance especially with regards to the dynamics in Cinema 4D People also feel like there should be a bit more updates in Cinema 4D dynamics. And there were a whole lot of other like requests, like even the user interface a bit more update and more interesting stuff as well people were demanding for. So several, several requests. But one thing I'm very certain, I'm very sure is there's definitely going to be a bit more updates in the scene nodes, which they, you know, like it's been sure that's probably going to be the future of Cinema 4D. So I believe in every release there is definitely going to be a touch of it so the scene notes i believe there's going to be updating it and if you look at maximum tangents of late 2 there's been a bit more of animation related and uv related stuff of late. so i believe they are still going to continue and add a bit more updates when it comes to animating and doing uv stuff in there people are actually asking a bit for um, body paint to be updated and everything they've done quite a few but people feel like it could be it could be way much better so i'm also thinking maybe there will be a bit more uv stuff in there another thing is um with regards to modeling i think there will probably be a couple but i don't think it's going to be as much when it comes to rendering honestly i don't think much is going to change it's still going to be this normal physical and the standard render we know and if you want any any extra it means you have to get a third party either redshift or tin or arnold or any other renderer with regards to that i mean talking about particles that one i think it's definitely going to stay the same they are never going to probably update the particle system what i'm thinking is because probably they are building the scene nodes and everything in the future they will find a way to integrate a proper particle system in the um, scene nodes and everything because i don't think they probably will do any significant changes knowing that the, the future as they say is going to be seen so every change is, which is very going to be, is going to be very significant i'm sure they are thinking of how it probably in the future will fit into scene notes and all that so with scene notes 
in mind like their changes are going to be a bit moderate and make sure in the future works with you know updates and stuff like that so i think those are the things i think will definitely and also workflow stuff definitely amazon always does that like try to make sure the workflow it's always fun and easy so i believe there's going to be a big workflow and the usual content browser or assets browser like they are probably going to be updates as well for that so those, those are my thoughts i don't know what you think and what you think should be done so if you feel things that you think um, in the future of future release of cinema 4d should be added or things you should you think should be taken away and everything please add uh, leave a comment and let's talk about what you think can make cinema 4d the better software or the best software for all of us thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.